Hi guys! Hi, I'm Rose! And I'm Ra! And in case you have noticed, we've moved to a different location, different position. <laughs> and location is the other side of the room, by the way. So today we have an iconic tabletop game to show you. That has been around since 1947. There may be a slight clue behind us. It's, it's the, the official game of... Sabitio! So a big thank you to University Games for sending it to us. The back of the box tells you that it comes with 20 players, 2 goalies, 2 goals, 1 football and 1 football pitch. And it's a family game aged 6 plus and for 2 players. So let's look inside. Shake, 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 shake. Ooh. So here are all the players. We've obviously got two different colours, so team red and team blue. Um, oh look, so the goalies are like, they've got their little hands in the air ready to get that ball out that net. They all have different hair colours and skin tone. And they all look like they're in sort of the same position, yeah. I thought they'd be in different position though, because on the box they looked like they were. So I'm going to take out the little mesh nets. I'm going to take out the playing field. And I'm going to take out all the characters as well. Players. And we found the instructions. So this side it looks like it's how to apply the rules of football to Sabutio. And the other side tells you how to set up and the hints for gameplay. So we've made our pitch and it looks like this. It didn't quite fit onto our table because it's massive, but we've sort of fitted this side so you can see like the corners and it sort of hangs off the other side. So there are a few crinkles and wrinkles which we probably need to iron out and it's velvety. Most people actually glue this pitch onto a board. So it's like straight all the time, there's no wrinkly crinklies. Which we obviously haven't done because we're just testing it out. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the goals. And they are slightly disappointing and we're going to explain why. The instructions are quite poor because they give you one image and like a few words. But the image is really bad quality so it's not very obvious like what to do with the goal. To add to that, the fabric is like irregularly cut so it doesn't go up in a straight line. And you can see that here so it's sort of sloping and it's sort of got like jaggedy edges. Which means that the fabric is eventually going to fray, which you can kind of see here is happening already. So we decided to put this white meshy fabric in front of this plastic bar instead of behind it. Because when we tried to put it behind it, it didn't like, it, it stretched everything too much. But this actually seems to work. And we wrapped the fabric around the sides and the front. And we hooked it onto these teeth around the edges. So both the girls go on these dotted lines, which are at both ends of the pitch, and the goalie just slides underneath. And this is one of the players close up, and obviously, as we said before, there's a red and a blue team. All of the players come out like that, so maybe you could swap them around or buy some different ones. They all also have one of the numbers on the back, so obviously the goalie's one, and it goes up to 11, because there's 11, it's 11 aside. They all have quite detailed facial features, but there's no colour. And as we said before, they all have the same posture. Except for this wonky donkey, who looks like he has been like run over by a lawnmower. <laughs> he could be my defender though, he could run at the ball. He can scare this guy off. So, so beauty is of course all about flicking and you might think that means there's loads of different types that you can do. But there actually is not. So you can't flick, so there's loads of different like fouls that you can do in Sabutio and you can't, you can't like flick like that with your thumb. You can't use like the fleshy part of your finger to move a player forwards, backwards or wherever. You can't move a player by hitting their little bodies themselves. You have to make sure that you always hit the base. You can't do drag tees. The only thing you can do is flick the base bit of the player with the nail part of your finger. Some players like to put their like their like sort of supportive finger forwards or backwards when they flick. I like putting it forwards, I don't know, I find it gives you more like stability. And I like putting my spotting finger behind my player. But there are loads of other flick tips that you can find all over YouTube and on the Sabutio website. So on to how you play. A full game consists of two 10 minute halves with a two minute break in between. So if you're an attacker, you're in possession. And if you're a defender, you are not in possession. Each player is allowed to touch the ball a maximum of three times in succession. After the third touch, another team player must come into play. But of course, a player doesn't need to use all three touches. A defender can move, but cannot touch a player or the ball. You are allowed to make one block flick for every attacking flick. 
for the catch is that if you're an attacker, you don't have to wait for the defending team to finish their block flick. You can just keep flicking it. So if you're a fast flicker, you have an advantage. So the little attacking team loses possession if they miss the ball. Hits another player. Scores a goal. Woo! Or they commit a foul. So some of the fouls include taking more than three flicks. No. Oh. Touching the ball with your hand. Uh, not flicking properly. Ow. Being offside. Or a defender touches the ball. Because a defender is not in possession, so should not be near the ball. No, they should be near the ball, trying to stop the ball, but they shouldn't be touching the ball. And to score, you must be past the scoring line. Our first impressions are that it's easy to play, but it's just hard to master. So the game is easy to get out and it's easy to put away. And we love that it's only 10 minutes each side. So if you had a couple of your friends around, then you wouldn't all be like waiting to play for ages. Which of course makes it great for playing quick knockout tournaments. There's a lot more skills involved in this game than I thought there would be, but that does not stop it from being loads of fun and raw failing to get a goal. <laughs> It's like mistake. 50 fouls you've ready. committed. And it's also very tactical. So how you position your attackers and your defenders plays a big role. But to start with, don't worry too much about the rules. Just get it out and have some fun. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.